Hey everyone, it's Sarah from the South Boston Club. Today we're going to be doing an awesome science experiment that's going to show us a process called color chromatography. All we need for this experiment are washable markers, coffee filters, and cups. We're going to start by taking our marker and drawing a circle, a thick circle, around the base of our coffee filter. Repeat with all of our other colors. Once we've tried it with a few different colors, we're going to take our coffee filters and we're going to fold it in half and again a few times until we have a triangle. Once we've folded all of our different colors, we're going to take our triangles and place them point side down in our in cups with a little bit of water. We want to make sure that the um, colors themselves don't go into the water, just the tips of the um, coffee filters. Now we're gonna wait a few minutes and see what happens. After just a few minutes, we can see that our colors have really started to spread across the coffee filter. Let's open up our coffee filters and see what else we notice. After a few minutes, it's very clear that the so colors have been spreading upwards as the coffee filter absorbs the water. As we open our coffee filters, we can start to notice a few more things that are happening with the colors. Where it happens the most clearly is on the black coffee filter. We can see that what used to be just a black line has separated into green and red color splotches around the coffee filter. Open up your other colors and see what you notice about them. Even though we see our markers as one singular color, some colors are actually made up of a few different colors. The colors within a color might act differently when they touch water. Some colors might move quickly in water and some might move more slowly. This causes the colors to separate. As we can see, the greenish color in the black marker moved faster than the reddish color. So the two colors separated on the coffee filter. This process is called color chromatography. You can try this experiment using different patterns on the coffee filters, multiple colors on one coffee filter, and any types of markers you have at home. Try and observe what you notice about the different experiments you try. Which colors separate and which don't? Which colors are made of what other component colors? If you want, you can dry your coffee filters on a paper towel and you can hang them up as decorations or make them into coffee filter butterflies or flowers. Be creative.